Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the Superbooth show in Berlin. I'm very pleased to be joined by Jamie from Rhodes. Hey, Jamie. Hey there. How's it going? It's going well. How are you? Fantastic. I'm really happy to be at Superbooth. I'm admiring your red velvet lair. Have here. you detected the, uh, the scene yet? It's like a sort of boudoir. Well, yes, and it's modeled after, our, 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 uh, after Twin Peaks. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, right. Well, I hope nothing sinister and violent is about to happen well, to Well, I credit us. it to, uh, to Owen Richards. He was the, the designer behind this one. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's a very fitting uh, backdrop to be showing off the new Rhodes Mark VIII piano. This is a venture that's been an awful long time coming. Yes. And, uh, yeah, congratulations for bringing it off. Tell us a little bit about the new piano. Right. Well, as you know, we've come a long way. I mean, Rhodes was developed in the 60s. And then, uh, you know, up till about 1984, and then reinvented again in 2005 through 2011, and now reinvented again with the Rhodes Mark VIII made in the UK. Um, so we've, uh, you know, we've seen what works, we've seen what doesn't work, and we are committed to making the absolute most reliable Rhodes for the, for the market uh, with sonic capabilities that we've never had before. Absolutely, and I think a lot of people, to a lot of people, the classic roads are the Mark I and the Mark II, but actually the later models did make quite a lot of innovations that mm -hmm. were worthwhile, even if they were sometimes flawed in their implementation. And so you've incorporated quite a lot of those in the Mark VIII as well, I gather. Absolutely. Well, um, the Mark V was, you know, in many forms considered the, the holy grail of vintage roads. So the Mark VII was based on the Mark V and that technology. And then uh, and we tried some new things with that, with a new preamp and with MIDI. Um, and, you know, had our, you know, had trials and tribulations with that and have found ourselves back again uh, with a 100% analog Rhodes in the Mark VIII, but we've, you know, teamed up with the best of the best all over the world, as well as primarily in the UK for materials, uh, as well as Germany for the key bed. So we have, you know, Kluge is making the key bed for this piano and they make the key bed for the Steinway Concert Grand. So you're essentially playing the Steinway of electric pianos. And you've essentially had to recreate a lot of the key parts like tines and tone bars and so on from scratch, I gather. Yeah, I mean, there's been a, been a lot of reverse engineering and blueprints based on the, on the older models, but we are sourcing everything in the UK, which has been wonderful and revitalizing jobs in the, you know, metal workers, carpentry, all of that. And we're, you know, we're really, really committed to using the most, uh, the, 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 be the best materials possible so that we're not skimping on quality in any possible way. But where it's possible to improve the design, you've also done that, for instance, in the sustain pedal, I think? Uh, the sustain pedal, yeah. We've, uh, we've changed that into a cable form, so now you can place the sustain pedal anywhere you like uh, under the piano, and in, the old ones, as you know, had the rod, so that was quite stationary and a little bit clunky and a little bit difficult to use. So the new one is quite a bit more versatile. and with custom aesthetic options will match the lid of your piano. <laughs> wow, that's a nice touch. Yeah. But also, I mean, it is a wholly analog device, but it's also, it's active and incorporates quite a lot of active electronics. It does. So we are using all analog uh, components and in the new effects model that will be coming out that will also have analog effects, bucket brigade, duo concentric knobs. But we have added a dig digital layer over the top for things like firmware upgrades or adjusting the parameters of the controls. Cool. And it, I mean, in terms of what you can do, even with this, this model that doesn't have those effects, you've got a really quite extreme range of sonic possibilities. <laughs> yeah, even just the, the, the preamp alone can do some wild things, which I'm, we're going to show you later on, on yet another piano. Excellent. Well, I'm dying to hear that. So I'm wondering if we can move over to the custom black and clear piano, which I gather is... Uh, available as a competition prize. It is. Uh, it is our 75th anniversary piano. We have, Rhodes is now celebrating their 75th year in existence. And we are giving away a beautiful Mark VIII uh, custom edition with black keys and gold hardware. And uh, go onto the website, rosemusic.com, to apply for your chance to win. Wow, thanks, Jamie. Well, let's go and have a look at it, and hopefully you can tickle its Black ivories. <laughs> Let's do it. Give us a demo. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Sure. All right. We're here with the, uh, again, the anniversary edition of the Mark 8 piano, the 75th anniversary, and this is available on the website uh, as a free giveaway. So some lucky Rhodes uh, aficionado will win this bad boy and 
have it in their studio, hopefully. So uh, to get started, we've got, this is the preamp model, and um, it is designed much like the ones of old with the classic tones, but now with sonic capabilities that we've never had before. I'm going to start right here with the envelope filter, which is a, an addition that we have found desirable among many players. So if I take this envelope filter and turn it all the way up just for, you know, drastic purposes and take the mid-range knobs and turn them this way, I essentially create an auto wah effect. Now, let's say I want to take it up to the next level. We have added a drive filter, and so combined with the frequency filter, you can essentially create a fuzz wah. So again, you know, I'm trying to show you that these are things that we haven't had available, you know, on a roads without, you know, a lot, you know, pedals hooked in. Now, we do have standard return jacks if you want to add your own pedals, of course. So that's still available. And many users like to try all kinds of different pedals. But we're trying to cater to um, the, what Rhodes players have used in the past and what they typically always seem to want uh, to add to the sound of the Rhodes. So if I take the frequency filter off, take off the wall for a moment and just do the drive, you can hear how that sounds. Right? And that could get even crazier. I put that right about midway, but I can take it up a little bit, you know, even, even crazier and have it right here. Almost an electric guitar, right? You can, you can get very, uh, you know, a lot of distortion happening on this and create things that, that we haven't had before available on custom roads. All right, if I take that out and just go right to the four band parametric EQ, uh, this has a lot of subtle tones and characteristics that are really fun. Uh, for instance, just the low pass filter. If I jack that up and, and bring up the lows a bit. And that, uh, Bringing up all the lows gives you a little bit of that older vintage Mark I feel from the 70s. If I bring up all the highs, you get more of the bells. If I take the lows out and bring all the highs in, again, even more of that high-pitched belly tone. So again, you can really play with these and dial them, dial them in right where you like them. So I like it actually right about here for sort of a classic tone. So essentially you can uh, sort of get the fundamentals and the harmonics right where you want them without going into the piano. While you still can go into the piano and adjust it there, you have a lot more um, option with the four band parametric EQ. Moving on, the favorite of most people, the Varipan filter, which simulates the tremolo and vibrato of the old suitcase Mark I's and Mark II's. So here is that classic tone. And we've offered four wave shape forms. So what you're listening to right now is the square wave. I'll do this again in a slope wave. If you can hear that subtle difference. A 
once again in a triangle wave. And one more time in a sine wave, which is a little bit more rounded than the top and the bottom. I'm gonna go back to the square wave for dramatic effect because that one cuts on the top and behind the bottom a little more viciously. And I'm gonna take this, we've now increased the ability and the parameter of the rate and depth of the VariPan filter. So you can take this up to a ring mod effect. the depth as well. So we're getting a little bit crazy there. Uh, but I can also take this up almost to a synth version, so. and you can get all the atonal stuff happening. Uh, lastly, if you'd like to control some of these parameters with a foot pedal, we've added two expression pedal inputs. And so for instance, if you want to use the wah as a wah pedal and not just as an auto wah, we can try that out. This will also function as a volume law if you're if you're interested in that. And then the second expression pedal, which is actually really fun, and I'll, I'll adjust the parameter up here. You can control the speed with your foot as well. and the depth if you want both. And let's say we just want to do it all. Let's go with the wah and the speed and the depth. Anyway, lots of fun that you can have in addition to all the classic tones that, you're, that you know and love with Rhodes. So again, the Mark 8, uh, and that's the preamp version alone, and then we are going to add the effects version, which will also have all analog effects here with compression, chorus, phaser, and delay, uh, dual concentric knobs that you'll be able to control and adjust to your liking in addition to the extreme power of the preamp. So uh, again, we couldn't be more proud of where the Mark 8 has come to today, and we're excited for all the, uh, all the buzz that we're getting and all the customers that have been uh, shown so much interest, and um, everybody here at Superbooth that have been amazing coming through and saying all kinds of nice things, which we really appreciate. And we will be also at NAMM in June, June 3rd through the 5th, uh, showing off the pianos. So please come and see us. Please come and check out the booth. Please go to the website, rosemusic.com and uh, order yours today. <laughs> you can customize it any way you like. We have um, a whole uh, suite on the website with, you can choose your lid color, your pedal color. We have this available in Tolex shell, walnut shell, clear lids, black keys, white keys, chrome stand, black stand. Um, so you can really make, make it uniquely yours. <laughs>